Another day of pop-up protests in Tbilisi, this one outside the Interior Ministry, to force the authorities into confrontation with the opposition. This week, activists who blockaded parliament for failing to reform the electoral system were sentenced at Tbilisi city court to short prison terms. Irakli Nadiradze spoke to us before being jailed for 13 days. They haven't any evidence and they can't threaten us with violence. We'll continue to protest from prison or on the streets until we kick this pro-Russian regime out of the country. But not everyone sympathizes. A passerby heckles Irakli. His opposition party was once in power. It still has enemies. Polls suggest Georgians have lost faith in politicians from across the spectrum. But the public does approve of democratic reforms. A recent National Democratic Institute poll found that most Georgians support the plan to introduce fully proportional representation in elections. That's why opposition parties united after the government reneged on its promise to change the electoral code. The governing party is unapologetic. The final say for the constitutional amendments and legislative amendments is up to the parliament of Georgia. And if citizens dislike this decision of the parliament, I am sure they will, they will put their positions uh, next elections in 2020. Georgia's opposition wants to say now. This is a new tactic by Georgia's opposition. Activists making lots of noise, creating excitement, raising attention, popping up at different places around the city to show the government that they're not going to go anywhere. They're going to continue to put pressure on them to change that decision on not to allow electoral reform to go ahead. The government insists nothing will change and that the opposition will have to take care to avoid breaking the criminal code and finding themselves behind bars. Robin Forrest, Walker, Al Jazeera, Tbilisi.